one, but can I please get to a oh. point now? Please. Okay, so one of the points. I went to. Not one or two. Can I please just. I did two more. Okay, one, two. Did it. Are you happy? Happy. Yes, two. happy. Two. You're two. Two. Yes, you are two years old. So can I please get to the please. first question? Please. Cheese. Not cheese. Please. My cheese I'm never going to get to the point. Sorry. Cheese. Yes. How old are you? Baby, please keep quiet for a bit so I can just get to the question. Okay, so the first question is this. The first question. Read. Please. Can I please talk? Let me give you the floor then. Talk. Are you done now? I don't know. You don't know? Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Say hello guys. How are you? Hi. We hope you've been doing well. We missed you. And this is part two. <laughs> and this is part two. Of our get to know me tag. My two. Yes, featuring the one and only baby K. the two. Yes, baby K. Two one. Of course, also known no, as. Okay, no one is. One two. <laughs> Show you watch part one of the video where I'm talking about myself. My. Yes. Yes, I'm talking about myself. So in this video, it's all things mom. Okay, guys, Hanya has very severe sinuses. That's a little kitty. Yes, she has very severe sinuses. Also, Ohana had to move a her, guys. So please, these are the cons of being a mom. I guess. Um. So yeah, I got the questions from you guys during the course of the last month i think so can you send us a whatsapp and you know because i can i don't obviously have a camera Hi, yeah i don't have a camera so i just have to settle for yeah ah. questions Would you know because you I weren't know there? I know you, but I don't think so. You don't. Know. You definitely weren't there, bruh. You definitely were not there. Okay. So guys, I was um nineteen turning twenty when I fell pregnant. So I got Hanya just after mine. Yes, we were born in the same month. She was born on the 29th, and my birthday is obviously on the 1st. Okay, I don't know why I said obviously because you probably don't know that, but yeah. Um, oh, please. Oh. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I felt pregnant. Second year of varsity, um, at 19, and I gave birth when I was 20, and I just turned 20. I'm so sorry, did I ask you? See, I didn't mean to. It was just a reflex. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't do that. That thing gives me mad anxiety because in high school and primary, actually, people used to do that, but not all. 
Okay. Um, second question is, what was the hardest thing about being pregnant? Hmm, I guess the hardest thing about being pregnant was probably the last semester. Semester, oh my gosh, the last trimester where you're so uncomfortable, everything is just so uncomfortable. You can't sleep, um, everything, nothing fits you. Um, you just want the baby to be out, uh, you're just sick and tired of being pregnant, if I can put it that way. Like, I feel like, yeah, the third trimester was just over everything, it was just like, I yeah, just come out now. Yeah, I think so. Being uncomfortable and the insomnia as well, so you can't sleep for for anything really. You're always up, and yeah, that that kind of sucks. Um, can you think of any good things you enjoyed during the nine months of pregnancy? Um, I enjoyed dancing. Yo, kanya kala ki mobile like jaifa. Yo, I did the most. I did the most. Probably why she's such a crazy mama, child. Mama. Kanya, please. Otobo on te wiki ena da fela in front of pamkwa band. We and diva sisi. So kaban ya kale. Please don't pull pull, pull that hair out. Yes, so um, mama, mama. in your opinion, were all the things you heard mama, about mama, childbirth mama, actually mama, 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 I, yeah. baby, can you please keep quiet for a while? <laughs> yeah, in my opinion. Hmm. <laughs> I can't say anything about childbirth, I feel, because I had a C-section, and it wasn't a, an elective, is that what they call it, an elective C-section, no, I didn't choose to have the C-section, so, throughout the course of the <laughs> So, see you guys what I have to deal with. Okay, what on the moment? Okay, so I guess that's happening. Um, so during the course of my pregnancy, I thought I was gonna have a natural birth. So I think it was in the no, it was my last appointment. I remember I went with a friend of mine to my last my last checkup. Went to my last checkup with a friend of mine, and then I thought everything was fine. Cool, I was okay. Yes, this is the last appointment. I accept like you put the money as clock with a color of paper, but dang, dang, baby, please don't make a noise. So, to one and a ekaka ojile to give a baya, and she didn't even, she just had yogurt and chips like recently now. She just had yogurt and the mazimbenya now. Mother, oh, hey, power of it. Sure. Anyways, so yeah. I went into that thinking, okay, I'm gonna come back probably like a few weeks later and I'm gonna give birth naturally. Then, turns out my gyna told me that um, the placenta calcified. So, this mean that it was detaching from the wall, it was getting really hot. And the baby was not going to get any oxygen. So I simply had to get a C-section done. So I didn't have any labor pains. Mm -hmm. Braxton Hicks contact contractions. Contractions. Contractions here and there. But nothing really major. Yeah. So I didn't really feel anything. Besides like the post-operative pain from the the incision and yeah that was really horrible yeah that was mama, horrible like, mama, it only mama, lasted for like a mama, few days mama. and then after that i was fine mm -hmm. i was okay I wasn't really like like even but but oh, blah, blah, like people used to come to my house and find me cleaning like during the first week of my pregnancy and be like hey, wait, now, but 
I really couldn't. Me. Like, I, I, I hate just to be two. lazing around at home. I, I, wanted, I wanted to be active. Two. I have to keep doing this because Make a choice. Do you want to be in the... Make a choice. Do you want to be in the... No, you're not going to take out my watch, bruh. No, bruh, please. Please, bruh. Guys, Kanya makes it so difficult for me to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Okay, wait. How can that all fall with Eh? Eh? Yeah. So, yeah. I didn't get any labor pains or childbirth pains. Besides after. Yeah, so I was quite good. Um, I think I should, the, the other question I got is, would you have handled childbirth differently if you would, if you could redo it? Um, I feel like personally for me, if I had a, cho a choice, I would have probably went with natural birth, but obviously I can do that for obvious health reasons, but yeah, if... I would have handled it differently. I would have probably went with natural birth. But yeah. It was kind of something I can't change now. And I don't even have... Okay, it does seldom happen that you can have natural birth after having a C-section. But that's like rare. rare in rare cases that you can. So yeah. And also it limits the the amount of children you can conceive or give birth to. Um, so yeah, that kind of, that kind of stuff. So yeah, but it's not like I was planning to have more than three kids anyway. So I don't know why I give that kind of stuff. That has been the hardest thing about being a mom. I guess the hardest thing is having to work and not spending time with her during the day. Like after when I get back from work, I have to cook and. Do some other things. So I probably just spend two hours out of the entire day being with her. And that kind of sucks because some things I miss out on. Like she's learning, she's in a phase in her life where she's developing and she's learning a lot of new things. So <laughs> it's like you say I'm lying, bruh. <laughs> yeah. But I really, really wish, wish. Mm. Ouch, please, baby, clean. Don't do that. Yeah. I'm at a point in my life where I really feel like someone can come out of the skies or the oblivion just to tell me, hey, I want you to become a housewife. I'd gladly do it. I think I didn't, I didn't enjoy it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you're so dramatic. Yeah, I think I'd enjoy it because, yeah, I'm just, I just want to stay home with Kanya and see her do all of this the entire day. Yeah. So working and studying and being a mom. It's hard. It's really hard. But we have to soldier on because, yeah, we have to be the best moms ever. We have to soldier on because, yeah, we just have to soldier on. I don't know. <laughs> um, what has been the most rewarding thing about being a mom? rewarding having to see this this face this face that i made she's so happy and she's so full of life 
But like, oh my gosh, like it gives me yeah, yeah, yeah. at most. It gives me the utmost joy because, oh my gosh, I love, love, love. I love her even though she bullies me. Baby, say na. Kupoto dua, uto dula muna na. Ubu handle bat. Please, yeah, just seeing her being happy and her growing, like it makes me feel like I'm doing the best I can right now, and that's enough. Like, this for me is enough, it just shows me that I'm doing a good job. She's not, uh, yeah, she's a healthy and a happy baby. and that is all I could ask God for reading. Um, what is the best memory you have involving your child? Yo, I have a lot, guys. If you, if you know Khayane, um, from my social media and every everywhere else, basically you might know me from. You know that she's a handful. So there is never a dull moment with her never ever 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 so every moment i'm with her is the best memory yeah it really is what is the most exciting milestone i can't wait for her. so actually she's starting courage in april um so i can't wait for that and i feel like she loves being around kids other kids so much that i kind of feel like it's hindering her progress with other things like her talking and everything you do know like children My. learn from other kids so i feel like My. her being at home with a no. nanny is kind of doing her progress Daddy. when it comes to speech and other things in life so buka buka wait a minute buka wait a minute buka yeah wait a minute so yeah i feel like it's delaying a lot of things so i'm excited for her to start with school so she can start talking um and yeah i just can't wait to see what potential it unlocks because she's a really very really clever bright child and yeah but i'm going to go to book and let him what's the whole book yes school what's your mom how are you i will try to look at What's the worst thing child has ever done? Kanya, every day there's a new story. Either Ukwatile Vazlinka or Fela. Ukwatile Zimuto, like, but I feel like it's things that every child really does. And they're exploring the their surroundings and getting to learn and figure things about themselves and about the environment they're in. So she's really done everything, if I can say that. So yeah, how what have you been wish your child didn't have? Um, have it. I want to change. I want to change. Please, this is the habit that I don't like about her. She doesn't listen. She doesn't listen. She's so stubborn and she she lives in her own world. Yeah. Um, do you share any similarities with your child, both physical and personality? Similarities, physical, they have quite, I don't want to say I have big eyes, but I've heard this being said a lot, we have similar eyes. But she's also very tall, like I am, I'm about 1.73 meters. That's quite on the tall end of the spectrum when it comes to females. And she's also quite tall for her age. Like, I'd go into town with her and they ask me, Una limoza, guys, come up and I have to read the questions. Yeah, but 
she's quite tall so people will ask me if we're not like three couple four couple open guy and then how do I like ah oh, how's the boo boo I'm like no she's only two so yeah those are the similarities um besides that Hanya how similar are we? she's quite a goof and I'm also a goof when I'm comfortable around people She's also like that. When she doesn't know you, she's quite taken aback. But after she knows you, she, um, uh, she's a darling to be around. Can I please read the next question? So, you'll just go back to Ma, you. Please. please. Please, can I please just read this one? Did you imagine that you become a mom at the age that you did? No, I did not. Okay, wait. I thought I was not over here, Mama. I'm not getting it. Mama, baby, please. I keep on wanting to give me a how and just look who is it. Okay, so I'm just trying to. Um, okay, got the question, so you can go back to your game. So yeah, um, I did not. Um, I didn't think that I would, but I feel like it wasn't planned, right? As any other teenage pregnancy or young pregnancy i don't know what to call it really i don't think most of them are necessarily planned but the growth that comes with being a young mom necessarily in my case because there were a lot of things going on in my life right then that i feel like god thank you I feel there were a lot of things that were going on in my life that I feel like I needed to be mm. saved from. Okay, I don't know if I can call it that, but yeah, I just feel like God. Um. Yeah. I had Hanya for a reason, and I feel like one of those reasons I can't necessarily say, but I probably wouldn't be here if. It wasn't for me conceiving her, if I can put it that way. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't be here right now today. Yes. So, um, she is. Um, she is one of the greatest, greatest blessings that God has ever bestowed upon me. It's after a while, I guess. It's after a while. So I feel like I would have been. I needed. I needed this. I needed the focus and the. Yeah, man, my life was just going sideways, and yeah, my life was going sideways, and I think God decided that this was gonna be my saving grace, and it, she literally was my saving grace, and I'm so thankful for that because yeah, man. And ever since she came into my life, I kind of feel like I have a purpose to do one I better finish it. So yeah, she has been my saving grace and I'm thankful, so very thankful to God that will feel like this chance to um, be a young mother and just love this baby ah! to the best of my ability and yeah I'm so thankful 
So guys, so this is it. This is me. This is Kanya. And even though she didn't really pay attention most of the time, she just glued to the phone. Oh no, don't send people with text on Grammy's phone, baby. Don't do that, baby. Oh, this girl, she's sending people text on Grammy's phone. No, baby. No, baby. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this thing. This is us uncensored. I'm literally in my pajamas, guys. -ish. I don't know if this is unprofessional, but YouTube is more relaxed and it's like letting you in into our lives. Like, and it's uncensored in every sense of the word. So I thought maybe let me just do it this way. Yeah. So please do like, comment, share, subscribe, click the bell. Oh, what does my niece say? Can yeah, man, bell button, the button bell. You know you click the bell and subscribe and stay tuned in for more content. Hopefully, you guys, will be doing this weekly. I don't know. With my job, it's just very hard. God. So I'll see. I'll really see. So thank you guys so so much. This is me and Kaya signing out. Peace. Love you guys. Peace.